Top story, it's May 1st, and people across Southern California right now are honoring the contributions of immigrant workers. A march and caravan are being held as part of May Day. KTLA 5's Megan Tellis is live at Los Angeles State Historic Park with all of the details. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Mark and Lynette, everyone watching on this Saturday morning. So, yeah, it's the 1st of May. That means it's the May Day March happening uh, today. And it's all going down starting at around 10 o'clock this morning. You'll see no one really out here this morning quite yet. As I take a look behind me, you can see this is the Los Angeles State Historic Park. And I want you to see what this march has looked like in years past. Because, again, it's been around for over two decades because of the pandemic. They had to cancel it last year. But, again, back in action today, starting here at the L.A. State Historic Park between Broadway and Spring Street, and then ending over at City Hall down on 1st and Los Angeles Street. That's about a mile and a half march. It will be a socially distanced march to keep up with COVID-19 safety measures. From there, there will be a caravan that will wind around downtown Los Angeles. Now, you Union members, immigrant rights advocates, community activists are marching today in support of worker rights and immigrant freedom. Organizers say they will call for an overhaul of the U.S. immigration system and call on President Joe Biden to pursue legalization for all immigrants right here in the U.S., while also denouncing recent fatal shootings by police and sheriff's deputies. Now, one labor union that will be out here to offer its first aid services from their big purple van, the members of SEIU, or the Service Employees International Union Local 121 RN. It's a member led union of RNs and other licensed healthcare professionals in California fighting for fair working conditions in the medical industry. And you come back out live here with me as a union member. We have Nurse Janet. You've been a nurse for nearly three decades. What has it been like the past year during this pandemic in terms of workers' rights within the medical industry? Well, as a nurse, I suffer for, for first line the injustices of uh, health care. Uh, we were not protected. We were not uh, guided the way we should have been. Uh, we were unprepared. The system failed. So we got united as nurses to fight this disease, and we pulled through. That's what it made us uh, go through this pandemic. Also, I'm here to uh, show people that uh, I am fighting for uh, racial, racial injustice. That we, I've seen, I witnessed a lot of disparities among my minorities, and a lot of them died. And I also seen that uh, we as, as immigrants were able to fight through this pandemic, whether they were picking up strawberries, and predominantly Hispanic communities were through the pandemic with this. There you go. So mm -hmm. that is why you're out here today. Coming up, we'll hear more from Nurse Janet. And on that note, again, everything going down at around 10 o'clock this morning. Mark and Lynette, I'll send it back to you guys for now from downtown LA.